Now in this 397, question number one. How many such pairs of letters are there in the word skeptical? Each of which has as many letters between them as they have in the English alphabet. S-C-E-P-T-I-C-A-L. Now in this one, starting from S, start counting the letters here. T-U-V-W-X-Y-Z. C-D-E-F-G-H-I-J. E-F-G-H-I-J-K. P-Q-R-S-T-U. And T, no letter more than this one. I-J-K-L. Now in between I and L here, we could able to find two letters. And in the alphabetical sequence also, we are having only two letters. Then C, D, E, A, and B. Again, in the reverse order, L. M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. C, D, E, F, G, H, I. And next one, T, P, Q, R, S. And so how many are there? There are only two such pairs. There are only two such pairs, that is choice two. Then question number two. And in the given word, intervals. Now in this word, intervals, all the vowels are changed to the next alphabet. I-N-T-E-R-V-A-L-S. All the words are changed, vowels are changed to the next alphabet. That is J, F, this is B. And all the consonants are changed to previous, this is M, S, Q, U, K, R. Then, how many letters will appear twice in the new word? Yes, so how many letters appear twice here? Yes, is there any letter which is represented twice? No letter, isn't it? Hence, none, that is choice two. No letter has been repeated twice in this one, choice two is the answer. Then, question number three. Now, in this question number three, three onwards, it is based on coded inequalities. Now, D greater than or equals to E greater than or equals to F, and the relation between G and F, G is here and F is here. Now, which element is common here? E is common. Now, G greater than E, E greater than or equals to F, that means G greater than F is definitely true. Then, coming to the second conclusion, D and L, D greater than or equals to E greater than or equals to L, D greater than or equals to L is also true. And so, both the conclusions follow, that is choice four. Then, in question number four, the relation between A and N. Now, between A and N, there are two opposite symbols, and so no relation can be drawn. Now, between P and K, P greater than or equals to K, definitely true. Only two follows, that is choice one. Then, question number five, R and S. S is here and R is here. Which element is common here? M is common. M greater than or equals to R, and M less than or equals to S means S greater than or equals to M. S greater than or equals to M, greater than or equals to R, which implies that S is greater than or equals to R. R less than or equals to S is true. R cannot be greater than S. Now the relation between G and M, between these two, there are two opposite symbols. The second conclusion also does not follow. Hence, neither one nor two, choice four. Question number five, it is choice four is the answer. Sixth one. Now in question number six, C and S. Now in between C and S, Again, less than, greater than, two opposite symbols that is ruled out. And between C and S, no relation can be drawn. And so neither one, not two, choice two. Then question number seven, the relation between B and D. Now B and D, tell me which element is common here, U is common. B greater than or equals to U, U greater than or equals to D. That is B greater than or equals to D is definitely true. And second one, the relation between M and E. Now in this M and E, M greater than or equals to M and E. As yes, tell me which element is common here, U is common. M greater than or equals to U, and U less than or equals to E. Now between these two, two opposite symbols are there. And so only conclusion one is true, that is choice two. Question number seven, choice two is the answer. Then eighth one. Now question number eight, five people were born in March of five consecutive years starting from 1990. 1990 starting from 1990 consecutive years, that means 90, 91, 92, 93, and 94. On these five, five people were born, and Q was born in an odd number year. Q born on an odd number year, what are the different possibilities we can have for this Q? Q can be either 91 or Q can be 93. There are two possibilities to this Q. And J is older than Q. 
J is older than Q but younger than F. J is older than Q but younger than F. The first case is not possible because there must be at least two persons before this J, <coughs> before this Q. And hence neither J nor F was born in 1991. Neither J nor F were born in 1991. Hence F is here, J will be here. And next S was born in, the, in one of the years before P. S is before P. Hence what is the order here? F, S, J, Q, P. As per the given arrangement, no one was born between which two people? S and Q, there is one person between S and Q. Between F and J, there is one person. S and P, there are two persons. F and P, there are three persons, J and Q. Now between J and Q, these two persons were born in the consecutive years. 80 day choice, five. Then question numbers 9 to 13. Now in this 9 to 13, different number of people live on eight different floors of a building. Now it is based on floor arrangements and but not necessarily in the same order, the lowermost floor of the building is number one. The one above that is number two and so on, the topmost floor is number eight. And it's in total, tell me how many floors we have. We have some eight floors. As the number of floors were there, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hence, first we need to represent the data like this, eight to one. After this one, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Then condition number one, 16 people live on one of the even number floors above floor number four. Above floor number four, 16 numbers, 16 number, one of the even number floors, and 16 can be either here or 16 can be here. How many possibilities we have? We have some two possibilities. Above floor number four, even number, and there are only three floors between the ones in which 16 people and 19. In between 16 and 19, there must be exactly three. One, two, three, 19 will be here. Now in the second case, 1, 2, 3, 19 will be on the fourth floor. And next one. The sum of the number of people living on floor number 2 and floor number 4 is 22. 2 and floor it is, 2 and 4 it is 22. And so on floor number 4 it must be 3. And in this one, and 2 and 4. 2 and 4. And see so here it must be 3. Done with this, sum of these two must be 22. 5 more people, underline this word more. Five more people live on the lowermost floor than those living on the floor number four. Floor number four plus five more. And three plus five is eight. Here, 19 plus five is so much. 19 plus five is 24. And next one, the number of people living on floor number seven is of that of that one lowermost floor. Of that of this one, seven means in the first case it is four. And in the second case, there are some 12 people. And the number of people living on floor number five Floor number five is more than those living on floor number seven. Five is more than that of seven. Five is more than that of seven, but less than four. And but less than four. Now this five must be more than seven, but less than four. Is it possible in the first case? Not possible. And this case is completely ruled out. More than seven, but lesser than four. Hence it could be 13 to 18. Isn't it? 13 to 18, then the number of people living on floor number 5 is more than those living on floor number 7, and but less than those living on floor number 4. And the number of people living on floor number 5 is an even number less than 18. Even number less than 18, it cannot be 18. Hence, it can be either 14, 16. Out of which 16 were already there on the topmost floor. Hence, what is left over here? 14 people. Hence, 14 people must live on floor number 5. The next one, five people live on one of the floors below floor number five. Below floor number five, five people means now in third floor there must be five people. And the number of people living on floor number six is double that of three. Double that of three means six must be ten. And this is how this number of people were staying in these different floors. Then question number nine. Which of the following represents the floors on which the most and the least number of people live. Most means the maximum, 24 people living on the ground floor, and only three first floor and three people are living on the second floor, and it's 24 and three, that is one and two. One and two, choice one. Then question number 10, how many people live on floor number seven? There are in total 12 people living on floor number, floor number four, that is choice four is the answer. Seventh floor, 12 people. Then question number 11, if 24 people live on which are the following floor numbers? 
24 leaves on floor number one. Floor number one, that is given choice five. Floor number one, choice five. Then question number 12. How many floors are there? How many floors are there between the one on which 14 and 16 people live? Between 14 and 16, how many people, how many floors? There are two floors. There are two floors, that is choice four is the answer. Then 13th one, what is the difference in the number of people living on floor number six and floor number four? Floor number six and floor number four, what is the difference between these two? 19 minus 10. There are only nine people, that is choice two. Then question number 14. This 14 is based on different number, isn't it? And 6, 4, 7, 8, 2, 1, 3, 9. As yes, what is the number we have? 6, 4, 7, 8, 2, 1, 3, 9. Are arranged in the descending order from left to right. Within the number, the positions of how many digits will remain unchanged. Now all the numbers are written in the descending order. Descending order means highest to the lowest. Hence so 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 is not there. And 6, 7, 8, and 9. Now tell me what are the elements which are repeated here? 7 repeated here, 8, 6, 2, 1, 3. And hence how many digits? Only one digit remained at the same place. One digit and the same place, that is choice 4. Question number 14, it is choice 4. Then 15 onwards. Now question number 15, it is based on a sequence. And 15 to 19. How many such twos are there? Now the question is about 2. How many such twos are there? Each of which is followed by digit greater than 5. Greater than 5 means followed by greater than 5. It could be 6, 2, 7, 2, 8, or 2, 9. Isn't it? And 25, 26, 26, 27, 28, 29. Now 2 and 9, this is one case. Next one, this is 2 and 6. Next one, 2 and 1, it can, this 2 cannot be taken. Next one, and 2 and 8, and 2 and 4 cannot be taken. And so how many 2's are there? There are only 3 such 2's, and which is immediately followed by a digit which is greater than 5. So I is 1. Then question number 16. If all the multiples of 2 are deleted from the series, all the multiples of 2 are deleted from the series is nothing but they are even numbers. Even numbers are deleted and now we are left with only the odd numbers. Then which of the following will be 10th from the right hand? Now we need to count the 10th odd digit from the right hand side. 10th odd digit means 1, this will be 2, 3, 4, isn't it? Next, 5. Now 1. 2, 3, 4. Next one is 5. And next to 5, 6, 7. 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. As yes, what is your answer here? 1, 5. Was now, 10th from the right end. Now, the 10th from the right end. As yes, what is the 10th from the right end here? Only the odd digits which is 10th from the right end. Now, this is 1, 2, 3, 4. Next, 5. And 6, 7, 8. 9 and 10. And so 5. 5 that is given in which choice? Choice 3. Then 17th one. Now in this question number 17, which is the 8th digit to the left of? 8th to the left of, 13th from the left. 8th left and 13th left means both these two directions are left and left. Hence we need to subtract between these two. 13 minus 8 is how much? 5th left. Now the 5th element from the left hand side, what is the 5th from the left? 2. 2 that is given in choice 3. 17 choice 3. Then question number 18. What is the sum of the 6th, 10th, and 12th digits from the right hand? Now 6, 10, and 12. 3, 4, 5, 6, that is 7. And next one is 10. 8, 9, 10, and 12, that is 6. As yes, what is the sum of these two? 15. And 15, that is getting with choice? Choice? Choice 5. Choice 5 is the answer, 18. Next one, 19th one. Now in this question number 19, how many such threes are there? The question is about threes. And each of which is preceded by an odd number followed by an even number. Preceded by an odd followed by even. Now three. Now this three is preceded by an even number but not odd. Now this three is preceded by even, preceded by odd and followed by an even number. Next to this three, preceded by even and followed, preceded by even. Isn't followed by odd, but it should not be taken. Isn't it? Then next one. And three preceded by odd, followed by an even. Next one. And this three preceded by odd, followed by an again odd. This cannot be your answer. And this three preceded by odd and followed by an even. And so how many threes are there? There are only three sets. There are only three. That is choice three.
Come on. 18 is the one. Now, question number 18. Now, in this 18, what is the sum of the 6th? Now, 6th, 10th, and 12th from the right. 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6. Next one is 10th, 7, 8, 9, 10. Isn't it? And next one, 12th one. Yes, what is the sum here? 7 plus 4, 11 plus 1 is 12. 12, that is choice one. OK? I said, the one the 8th thesis is going to then next one, 20th. Now in question number 20, 20 to 25, these are based on coding and decoding. Now in this coding and decoding, what is the information we have? New movies released soon is written as. Now the words and their corresponding codes were given. Now we need to identify the words and the codes. New movies released soon. And they released financial data. What is the word which is common here? Released is the word which is common. As released is the word which is common. Then tell me what is the code which is common? TU, BT, KB, and AG. Yes, what is the word which is common here? KB is the word which is common. And the code to the word released is KB. Released is KB. Then after this one, after released is KB, then released and released, nobody here. And if you compare the first and the third, new movies soon. New movies soon, what is the word which is common here? Movies. As movies is common here, then tell me what is the code which is common between 1 and 3. Now, KB, KB, and TU, BT, AG. TU, BT, AG, BT is common here. And the code to the word movies is BT. And 1 and 4, new and soon. Now, in this new and soon, is there any word common here? No word is common, hence new and soon. And there are two different codes for this one. The individual codes cannot be identified, TU and AG. TU or AG in any order. Then compare the second and the third, they financial data, and they financial data here also, these two cannot be compared here. And next one, they financial data and they show regional data, they and show, they and they, and what is the other word which is common here? Data. They and data is common, here also they and data is common. And two words are common. And two words, what are the words here? VI, PT, CM. And VI and PT are common, here also VI and PT. And so they and Data is what? They and data it is VI, PT. Now VI and PT in any order. Then outwards, now financial is the word which is left over and the code is CM. The code to the word financial is CM. CM. Next one, date, data of regional. Data of regional. Regional is the word that is already been done, isn't it? Data and now between these two, data and what is the other thing left over here? They and data. Now data is common between the second, third, and fourth. Are you following this one or not? Now second, third, and fourth, what is the word which is common here? Data is common. As data is common, then what is the code which is common? PT is common. And the code to the word data is PT. If data is PT, and they will be VI. Done? They we can able to find out VI, and data is PT. And here also data is what? Data is PT. And here data is PT. And data is PT. And they is what? As they is VI. Now they, it is written as VI. Now in this one, they is VI. Then coming to the third statement, off is left over. And what is the code to this word? Off MD. Off is MD. Next one, so is the word left here, so. And the code is MD. So is OD. Off. Now, off is what? Off is XO. Sorry. Off is XO. As off is XO here. Now, here show and this one. So is what? So is OD. So is OD. If so is OD, then what is the other element left over here? MD. Now, this MD is the code for regional. Regional is MD. Regional we had already taken, it seems. Regional is the word which is common, and it is MD. A regional is MD. Done? MD and MD is common. The next one, what is the code for the word released? As released is KB choice 2. Then question number 22. Now in this 21st, what is the code for show movies? Uh, show movies off in the given code language. Off is what? Off is XO. Off is XO. Movies and movies is BT and show and show is OD. OD, BT, XO in any order. OD, BT, XO, that is choice one. 
21st choice one. Then 22nd, now in this one in the code language, specific regional is coded as MDJ. Specific regional is coded as MDJ. Now in this one, specific and regional is MD and MD and J. Now regional is MD. As regional is MD here, and specific must be what? Specific is JD. Then, what may be the possible code for show specific data? Specific is JE, and show and data, and show is OD. Then what is the code for this what data here? Data could be, data is PT. Then what is your answer here? OD, JE, PT. OD, JE, PT, that is choice two. 22nd choice two. Then 23, what may be the code for financial plan? Now the word financial is code as CM. And a plan, plan is nowhere given here. And the code to this plan should be anything other than this, the given codes. Now CM, CM is written here, written is here, and written in choice five, and these two were ruled out. Then CM and VI. Now VI cannot be the code to this word plan. And CM, RF cannot be the code for this one, isn't it? Hence RF, that is choice two. And v CM, RF, and RF, and VICM. Now CM is already there, VI cannot be the code because it is the code for they. And next one is what? CM and RF, choice three. Because RF is not given in the given codes, and it can be the code to the word financial plan, 23. Then 24, what does the code TU stands for? Now this TU stands for either new or soon, that is choice two. Then 25 to 27. Now in this 25 to 27, it is based on comparisons. Now in total, how many persons are there? Six persons. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now these six persons are being compared in. Now they are being compared in weights. These six persons are compared in weight. L and M, each has a different weight. E is heavier than G. E is heavier than G, and K, and K. E is heavier than G and K. E is heavier than G and K can be written like this, but lighter than F, but lighter than F. And next one, L is lighter than only M. As L is lighter than only M, L and M must be in these two places. L is lighter than only one person, hence M and L is here, then the next one is F, G, E. Then between G and K, either in the fifth or the sixth places in any order. The next one, L is lighter than only M. The third lightest person weighs 47. The third lightest person weighs 47, E is 47. And the second heaviest person is 56. Now L is 56. And K is 10 cages lighter than E. As K is 10 cages lighter than E, and K is so much, K is 37. And G's weight is 18. And G must be the least weight, 18. And K is so much, K is 37. Then in this one, and who is the second lightest of all the given people? The second lightest is K, that is choice three. Then question number 30, 26. What is the possible weight of F? F's possible weight is in between 47 and 56, and in between 47 and 56, that is choice one, 50. Yes, question number 27. Now, if M is 13 kgs heavier than the third lightest, third lightest, who is that person here? E, that is 47. M is 13 kgs heavier than this one, 47 plus 13 is so much 60. Now, if M is 60, then what will be the sum of the weights of M and K? M is 60, K is 37, and the sum of these two persons is 67, 97. 97, that is choice 5. Then, question numbers 28 onwards. It is based on blood relation, J is the mother of L. J is the mother of L can be written like this. And P is married to L, L and P are married couple. R is the only son of P. R is the only son of P. And A is the grandmother of R. As A is the grandmother of R, as of now, as this A must be the grandmother of R, that means mother of P. Because L's mother is already there, J. Hence, two mothers is not possible here. Hence, A is the grandmother of R. Next one. V is the only sibling of L. Now, V is the only sibling of L. E is the mother of H. Now, this V is the mother of whom? V is the mother of H. 
and mother of H V is married to whom V is married to W, W is a male, and D is the brother-in-law of P. As D is the brother-in-law of P, as tell me how to write down this. D is the brother-in-law of P means now this. As tell me how to represent this one. Now D is the brother-in-law of P. That means P's spouse's brother could be D, or P's brother-in-law, P's sister's husband is D. And so out of these two, now spouse's brother is ruled out because V is the only sibling, isn't it? V is the only sibling of L. Hence L is not having L cannot have a sibling like D. Hence D cannot be the sibling of L. And this D must be the sibling of whom? D must be the sibling of P's wife. Are you following this one or not? No. No peace wife and that person is D. D is the brother-in-law. D is the brother-in-law of P. Then how is H related to R? How is H related to R here? H and R are cousins to each other. Cousin. R's parents, sister, aunt, aunt's child is H, cousin. 29. Now this question number 29. How is D related to A? How is this D related to A here? Yes. Yes, how is D related to A? Now daughters, how is D related to A? D related to A, that means A's, child's, there is no relation between these two. Isn't it? How is D related to A? Who is this day here? Now A is having... J is the mother of L. Next one, P is married to L. P is married to L. And R is the only son of P. R is the son of P. A is the grandmother of R. A is the grandmother of R. That means P's mother. A is the grandmother of R. Then, A is the grandmother of R. V is the only sibling of L. V is the only sibling of L. Means V and L. There is no child here. V is the only sibling of L. L is the mother of H. L is the mother of whom? V is the only sibling of L, E is the mother of H. Now this V is the mother of H, V is married to W, D is the brother-in-law of P. As D is the brother-in-law of P means, as this D is, D is P's sister's brethren. Now P's, P's sister's husband, isn't it? Now P's sister's husband, now P's sister, P's sister's husband is D. And that means, yes, Daughter's husband, A's daughter's husband is son-in-law. Son-in-law, that is choice for 29. Then next one, 30 onwards. Now in this question number 30 to 34, how many people are there? There are eight people sitting in a strike line with equal distance between each other. Some of them are north and some of them are south. Now eight persons, these eight persons, some of them are facing, are seated in a row. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8. Among these, some of them are facing towards north and some of them are facing south. A sits at one of the extreme ends of the line. As A is seated at extreme, one of the extreme ends of the line, A can be at the left extreme or A can be at the right extreme. There are two possibilities here, isn't it? And so A can be here. And G sits out to the left of A. As G is seated out to the left of A in the first case, then this A must be facing south. Then only G sits out to the left of A is possible. And in the second case, A is facing north, 1, 2, 3, G sits out to the left of A. G sits out to the left of A, and Q is an immediate neighbor of G. As Q is an immediate neighbor of G, Q can be here or here. Now similarly here also, Q can be in these two places. Q is an immediate neighbor of G. F sits forth to the right of Q. F sits forth to the right of Q. Now if Q is here, Q is here, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4 is not possible. F sits forth to the right of Q is not possible. Hence so Q must be here. If Q is here, F sits forth to the right of Q, 1, 2, 3, 4, F will be here. Isn't it? Then again coming to this one, if Q is at this place, 1, 2, 3, 4, F must be here, which is not possible. Hence so Q cannot be here, Q is here. And if Q is here, F sits forth to the right of Q. That means Q must be facing towards south, then 1, 2, 3, 4, F will be here. F sits forth to the right of Q. One of the immediate neighbors of G faces the same direction as A. One of the immediate neighbors of G is facing the same direction as A. One of the immediate neighbors of means this person is facing 
the same direction as A means south. One of the immediate neighbors of G is facing the same direction as A, this person is not. And L sits to the immediate right of B. L is to the immediate right of B. L sits to the immediate right of B. And immediate neighbors of L face the same direction. Immediate neighbors of L are facing the same direction. Now in this one, L sits to the immediate right of B. Now can you take L at this place? If you take L is here, then B and G must be in the same place, which is not possible. Hence, L cannot be here. Then L sits to the immediate right of B. Sorry, if B is here, then L and G must be in the same place, not possible. Are you following this one or not? Hence, as L cannot, B cannot be here, then B must be here. If B is here, L sits to the immediate right of B, then this B must be facing towards south. Then only L sits to the right of B is possible. Again, coming to this one, and if you take B at this place, L sits to the immediate right of B is not possible. Hence, B is here, then L is here, and this B is facing towards north. L sits to the immediate right of B. And immediate neighbors of L face the same direction. Immediate neighbors of L means B and G are facing the same direction. Both these two persons are facing south. Here, immediate neighbors of L, immediate neighbors of L face the same direction. B and G are facing towards north. And both R and J face north. Both R and J are facing towards north. And the one sitting to the immediate left of J also faces north. Now both R and J faces north, isn't it? Both R and J faces towards north. The one who is sitting to the immediate left of J also faces north. J cannot be at this place, isn't it? Hence, if you take J at this place, then the immediate neighbor of J, the one sitting to the immediate left of J is Q, is also facing towards north, is ruled out. Done with this? And the second case is not possible. And in the first case, if you take J at this place, J is facing north, immediate left of J is A, but it is whereas A is facing towards south rather than north. Hence, J cannot be here. J like this, J at the end. Now this J is facing north, R is also facing north. The immediate left hand side of J is F, this F is also facing north. Done with this? And this is how these eight persons Four persons are facing north and four persons are facing south. Then question number 30. Who among the following sits to the immediate right of J? Immediate right hand side of J. Yes, is there anyone who is to the immediate right hand side of J? No. No one that is choice to. Then question number 31. What is the position of A with respect to R? A with respect to R. A is to the immediate left. Immediate left that is choice one. Then question number 32, in which of the following pairs are both the people facing the same direction? Both the people L and A. L and A are facing the same direction, that is true, isn't it? And J and F, now this J and F are also facing the same direction, which implies that all the given pairs are facing the same direction, that is choice four. Then 33, how many people are seated between L and G? Now in between L and G, there is no person here. No, none, that is choice five. Then question number 34, and which of the following is true? Statements is true with respect to the given information. None of the given statements is true, choice two. R sits to the immediate right of J. R is to the immediate right of J, that is false. And G sits second to the right of B, that is definitely true. G is seated second to the right of B, choice three. Then question number 35. Now in this 35, five boxes are kept one above the other, but not necessarily. Now it is based on a different question. And five boxes are kept one above the other. A, B, C, D, and E. Then A is kept immediately above C. A is kept immediately above C. These two must be together. And only two boxes are kept between C and B. As only two boxes are kept between C and B, tell me what are the different possibilities we can have for this A and C. Now A is here, C is here. Only two boxes between C and B. Only two boxes are kept between C and B. Again, if you take the other possibility, A is here and C is here, only two boxes between C and B. Isn't it? Only two boxes, A is kept immediately above C. Only two boxes are kept between C and B. Hence, in this case, B must be in the fourth place. Only two in between. Only two boxes are kept between C and B. 
only two are between C and B, B must be at the fifth position. Then, only two are in between. Then, what is the other possibility we have? Only two are in between. In this case, it seems that there is one more possibility, isn't it? What is that possibility here? If A is here, then C will be here, and two in between C and B, B can be here. Then, in total, we have some three possibilities. And D is kept at one of the positions above E. D is kept at one of the positions above E. Here also D is at one of the positions above E. Here also D is at one of the positions above E. Isn't it? Then what is the answer here? Which box is kept second from the top? Which is kept at the second, either B, C, and D. Any box can be second from the top. Hence, cannot be determined choice 5. This is about question number 31 to 35. Then, 36 to 40. Now in this 36 to 40, what is the information provided? Now seven friends, Manjit, Naveen, Parul, Hitesh, and so on. Seven friends are pursuing their PhD in different subjects, mathematics, history, political science, and so on, but not necessarily in the same order. They study in three different universities. What are the universities? Only three universities. Now seven friends were there, and they were in three different universities, and it comes in which category? As common parameter. As, as it comes under common parameter, now we need to divide this one according to the parameter that is universities. And, and they study in three different universities, at least two friends in the same university. At least two means two or more than two. Yes, what is the possibility we can have? Two, two, and three. Two, two, and three. Now in this one, P, Q, and S are the three universities here. P, Q, and S. Now, in two of the universities, we are having only two people, and in one university, we are having three people. And Hitesh is studying political science in University P. P, University P, Hitesh, Hitesh, and political science. Hitesh is studying political science in University P. The one who is studying history is not from University S. Now, history cannot be university, yes. History cannot be here. And Sahil is studying geography in university Q. Now, Sahil, now this person is geography in Q. Q, with only Navin. With only Navin means, now in this Q university, there must be exactly two people. With only Navin. As hist with only Navin. Next, Manjit is not studying economics and is not from university P. Now, Manjit cannot be here. As Manjit cannot be here, Manjit must be in? Yes. Because there are only two persons in Q, and so Manjit is studying what? Economics or not studying? Not studying. Manjit is not studying economics, but not economics. Hence, economics put across. And not from University P. Next one, Raghu is studying accounts, and is not from University P. Now, this Raghu cannot be here. As Raghu cannot be here, Raghu is, must be yes. And this person is not accounts. Raghu is studying accounts and is not from University P. And Tarun is studying chemistry. Tarun is studying what? Chemistry, but not from University P. Tarun chemistry, but not University P. Tarun chemistry, but not University P. And see here again, Tarun is here. And chemistry, but not University P. And there are three persons in this one. Manjit, Raghu, and Tarun were completed. And Sahil and Navin and Hitesh. Then tell me who is the other person left over who is from P? S. Parul. And so Parul must be here. And Tarun is studying chemistry but not from University P. And no one studies maths or economics in University P. Mathematics and economics cannot be University P, isn't it? Hence, mathematics and this one cannot be University P. Hence, mathematics and chemistry must be from where? And no one studies maths or economics in university P. Now here, this Tarun is chemistry. Now this person, Raghu, cannot be accounts. Is it? Huh? Tarun is studying? Raghu is studying accounts and is not from university. Now Raghu is studying accounts. Now as Raghu is studying accounts here, accounts at this place. And accounts see here. Economics cannot be here, isn't it? As economics cannot be here, no one studies maths or economics in university P. Hence, mathematics and economics, Manjit cannot be economics, 
and this Naveen must be economics. As Naveen is economics, now this Manjit must be mathematics. As Manjit is mathematics here, Manjit is maths, and maths, accounts, chemistry, geography, economics, political science, and this person for all must be history. Done? And question number 36, which of the following represents the group that studies in university S? Yes. University S, yes. and tell me who are those three persons, Manjit, Raghu, and Tarun. Manjit, Raghu, and Tarun. Tarun, Raghu, and Manjit, that is choice for. Next one, 37, Parul is studying in which other universities? No, 37, Parul is studying in which other universities? Parul is studying in? In P University. University P, that is choice one. Then question number 38. Which of the following combinations is true? Manjit Economics University. Manjit Economics University. Naveen History University. Naveen History University. Parul History University, yes. Parul History University, yes. Tarun Chemistry University. University Q. Tarun Chemistry University Q. And that is also false, none of the above, choice five. Then question number 39. Now in this 39, Naveen studies which is subject in PhD. Naveen economics, economics that is given in choice three. Then question number 40 in this. Who among the following study history in PhD? Now history is foral, foral that is choice two. Clear? Now this is about paper number two zero. 397, question numbers 1 to 40. Yes, any doubts in this one? Huh? Number series, question numbers? 71 to 75. Now in this question number 71 to 75. Yes, tell me what is the information we have? In each of the following questions, a number series is given. After the series, a number is followed by given followed by A, B, C, D, and E, you have to complete the series starting with the number, following the same sequence and answer the questions given below. Isn't it? Now it is, it comes from which category? New series formation. Isn't it? Now the second series should be found with the help of the number given, applying the same logic as that of the previous one. Now 1.5, 5, 20, 74, 200, 422. Numbers are increasing at a very faster rate, and it must be, it must be under which category? It must be under combination or product. Now 1.5 and 5 cannot be related in the product, hence it must be combination. Combination we need to try out at the highest pair. Now 215 into 2 is so much 430. 430 minus 8 into 2 minus 8. Then if that is the case, 74 and now 1.5 and 5. 1.5 and 5 and next one. Now 74 and 74 into how much here? 74 and into 3. Now 74 into 3 is so much. Into 3 minus 7. 222 minus 7. Now into 2, into 3, into 4, 5, 6. That is 1.5 into 6 minus 4. Next one, this will be into 5 minus 5. And this will be 6, 5, 4. Into 4 minus 4, 5, 6. And next one, starting with 6. 6 into 6 minus 4. Yes, now the question is about B only. 6 into 6, 36 minus 4 is so much 32. And 32 into 5, 180 minus 5, 175. And then choice now? Now 32. Now 6 into 6, 36 minus 4, 32. 32 into 5 is so much 160. 160 minus 5, 155. 155 choice 2. Done? As yes, question number 71. As yes, question number 72. As yes, 72, any answer to this one? Now question number 72, 12, 18, 42, 102, and 222 and 432. As the difference between 12 and 18 is so much 6, next one is so much 24, 
and next one is almost 60. Yes, what are these numbers? 624, 60. N cube minus N. Now 2 cube minus 2 is 6. 3 cube minus 3, 4 cube minus 4, 5 cube minus 5. That is 120. And 60 cube minus 6, 210. Then, now what is the value? What will come in place of C? Yes, tell me what is the value of C here? 41 plus 6 is how much? 47. And 47 plus 24. 41 plus 6 is 47. And 47 plus 24 is how much? 71. And next to 71 plus how much? 60. That is 131. 131 is the answer. Choice. For. Then, in the place of C, let us take E is given. Then find out the answer. Am I E chat? You bring your answer. Say it. A, B, C, D, and E. Then, C work on the D and E will join. Yes, what is the next number after 131? My intercept just now. 4? 461 is under the key. Under 461 is here? No, sir. Okay, sir. Jata children. In the moon, Chala Saljepa. Particularly in this two series formation. Whenever it is based on a difference. Now, what is the difference between the first two numbers difference? First two numbers difference 12 and 41 difference. 29. 29 or 39? 29. Now, the difference between the first two numbers is 29. As the difference between the first two numbers is 29. Isn't it? Now the difference between these two is 29. The difference is how much? 29 is the difference. As yes, 29 is the difference between these two. Now here, now in each of these one, 29 should be added. And the case 18 plus 29, you will have 41. Sir, put in the Next one, 42 plus 81, 29. That is how much? 71. And similarly, 102. 102 plus 29. Hence, we got 131. Here again, 432. 432 plus how much should be added? 29 should be added. 432 plus 29 will be 461 is the answer. Hence, whenever it is based on a difference, then you can directly operate upon the number rather than identifying all these numbers. If you see it, you can see it. Here, you can see it. You can see it. Time waste. Clear? Hence, whenever in the New series formation if it is based on a difference. And the uniform difference will be there in each of these conjugative numbers. As there is a uniform difference here, now in between the first two numbers, whatever the difference, the same difference will be added to the remaining numbers as well. Then, and this is about 72. Then question number 73. Now in this 73, any answer to this one? 89, 105, and 484. 105 and 484 numbers are increasing at a very fast rate. 105 into how much? 105 into 4. Isn't it? 105 into 4 is 420 plus 64, 484. Now 26 into 3, how much? 78. 78 plus how much? 27. Into 4 plus 4 cube, into 3 plus 3 cube, into 2 plus 2 cube. 9 into 2, 8 plus 18 plus 8, 26. Now into 1 plus 1 cube. Into 1 plus 1, into 2 plus 8, into 3 plus 27. Into 4 plus 64 and into 5 plus 25 and so on. Now starting with what? A, 5. Now starting with the 5, as it based on combination, we need to work out each and every number. Change 5 into 1 plus 1 is how much? 6. 5 into 1 plus 1 is 6. 6 into 2 is 12 plus 8 is 20. And 20 into 3, 60 plus 27 is 87. Isn't it? Now 87 A, B, C. Now D and E. Yes, tell me what is D here? 87 into 4. Into 1, into 2, into 3, into 4. Yes, into 4 plus so how much? Into 4 plus 64. What is 87 into 4? 348. Now 348. 348 plus 64. 48 plus 64 is so much? 412. 412. Next, 412 into 5 plus 125. 412 into 5 is so much? And 20 and 6, isn't it? 2060. Must 70 or not? 
क्लियर एंड नेक्स्ट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी फोर नाउ इन दिस सेवेंटी फोर द नंबर्स आर डिक्रीजिंग एट ए स्मॉल रेट इट मस्ट बी अंडर डिफरेंस ऑन अगर एज अ डिफरेंस नाइन एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव वाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस टू सिक्सटीन नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट सी नाउ फॉर दिस वन ऑल्सो सिक्सटीन ट्वेल्व प्लस सिक्सटीन ट्वेंटी एट चॉइस टू दिस इज वॉट द एडवांटेज वी हैव विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस न्यू सीरीज फॉर्मेशन whenever it is based on a difference then next one 75 now in this 75 64 24 18 27 81 then 64 and 24 how can you express this one 64 into how much 3 by 8 64 into 3 by 8 ask coach 64 into 3 by 8 because 8 8 64 8 into 3 24 3 by 8 next one 24 and 18 24 into 18 and That is into three by four and four six twenty four and six into three eighteen three by eight three by four next one into three by how much into three by two eight four two next one eight four two one into three by one isn't it now if you check out the denominators denominator eight divided by two is four four divided by two 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 divided by two one and so on and similarly now we need to start start with this ninety six now ninety six. And 96 should be multiplied with how much? Into 3 by 8. 96 into 3 by 8. Then what is the number we have? 8 twelves. 12 into 3, 36. Next one, 36 into 3 by 4. Now 9 into 3, 27. Now the question is about what? B. B is 27. Is the answer choice? Clear? Now this is about paper number 397. Clear enough?